Corey with Axis Industries. Today we're going to show you how to mount a contact sensor invisibly inside the door. So we'll open up the pack and look at what you need. There's a few different components. Some of them you won't need to do the invisible mount. You're going to need the main contact sensor device. You won't need that magnet there. And then inside the pack you have those brackets. You're going to need those. And then you're also going to need the round magnets, these half inch magnets as well as possibly the little nail supply. So here's your contact sensor device, and then here you have the brackets that we're gonna to use to mount it in the door. That way if you drill too far into the door, you're not gonna have a problem with this not being flush. These will bring it up to the right level that you need. Um, one thing you need to make sure of is that on the contact sensor, you have the hole facing up. That's where you're gonna be doing your identifying. It's also where the radio is, so you don't wanna sink that upside down into the door. So we're going to be drilling this contact sensor into a round hole. So we're putting a square peg in a round hole, which means you're going to need to make the round hole a little bit bigger. So you're going to want a 7 8 inch drill bit. We're going to put the contact sensor here, just mark the depth so we don't need to keep checking it as we drill. That way we know once we're past that point, we're, we're far enough. And then we're going to take the drill and uh, just make sure you're centered and also make sure to stay a couple inches away from the end of the door. Uh, if you drill too close to the edge of the door, you're going to end up hitting the, uh, the post that runs right here and you're going to be drilling half in the open door, half in there, the drill's going to keep on catching. So once we're lined up and it looks pretty straight, we can start drilling. Now that we have the hole drilled, you can take the brackets and uh, basically you want to peel off the sticky on both sides. This just keeps it from dropping in there so it sticks to the contact sensor better. And again, when you hook this up, you want to make sure that, that the end with the hole is facing up because that's where your radio is at. That's also how you're going to identify it. You can identify it before you put it in the wall, but with this demo, we're going to identify it after. So you basically just take this then and just drop it right into the hole and it's in there. So now at this point, gravity should keep that thing from moving around. Um, so you don't necessarily need to use a nail. It makes it also really easy to pop out when you want to change a battery. Uh, for this, I'm just going to put one, one nail in just to hold it in there so it doesn't move around at all. And there's a second nail as well if you're really paranoid and really want to make sure that thing stays in there. So. At this point, the thing's going to be basically fully flush mounted. Now we're going to go and we're going to put the magnet on the other side on the door frame. Um, every door is going to be a little bit different uh, depending on how it sits. So what you'll want to do is you just want to check and see what kind of height you have to work with there. If it's enough, you can basically just take the little piece of sticky in here and hook it up to one of the magnets. There's actually two magnets in this pack, two different thicknesses. One is that thickness, and then the other one's a little bit thinner. So if you have very little amount of space, you can just use a thin one and just stick it right up on this side of the frame above where that would be. Um, personally, when I do an invisible mount, I like to make it totally invisible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a really short half inch hole into the top of the frame and actually stick it right up in there so you don't see it at all. Okay, so you're going to want to mark where the contact sensor hits the door so you know you got that right. And then just close the door, make sure you see where the contact sensor sits. Some of them are going to sit in deeper than you might expect and it might not always be halfway in the middle. So just check that. I'm just going to mark where that was at that point. Just make sure not to go too high on this one. Um, the other thing that I do is I actually use both magnets on top of each other. Um, when I'm mounting it this way, when there's more of a gap, I use the two magnets so there's more strength so that I'm sure that that magnet's going to pull even though it is still invisibly mounted. So I'm going to go and close the door. It should be lined up pretty nicely. And it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to join our contact sensor and uh, also put it into test mode. So for tapping it, puts it uh, into identify mode, but we're just going to 8 tap it for now, which is test mode, and check that that contact's actually made in connection. So when you hear the beep, it should be in test mode, and it should beep now when it makes contact. Okay, so it looks like we're good. It beeped each time, so it looks like there's a good connection there. Okay, so now we're just going to identify to composer, go over the contact sensor device that you have in the project and right click and identify and then you just want to four tap the contact sensor and it'll start searching and it's connected and there you are 
That basically finishes the install of an invisible mount contact sensor.